acting to stunt coordination to direction, Ron Yuan has been doing it all, and not just in the Western Hemisphere. Today we'll be hearing from Ron about his craft, its trajectory, and what projects are in store next. If you look at Ron Yuan's track record, it shows a high level of variety that, with limited opportunities, is often difficult for Asian Americans in entertainment to achieve. For stunt choreography, Ron has worked on films such as Black Dynamite, Kung Pao Enter the Fist, Rush Hour 2, Batman Forever, Blade, and The Girl from the Naked Eye. A well-rounded character actor, he's appeared in films such as the 2012 Red Dawn remake and Fast and Furious, as well as TV shows such as NCIS, Burn Notice, Prison Break, Pushing Daisies, CSI New York, Entourage, Sons of Anarchy, and, most recently, The Blacklist. Ron's dynamic resume is a result of his insistence on turning down roles that are Asian just because, and adding depth of character not always found in the script. Tattoo on his cheek? For me, personally, I, I had to tell my agents, look, I don't want to do these anymore. Even, even at the point where I didn't have that many credits, and they were like, it's work, what are you talking about? I'm like, no, I just don't want to play a takeout boy. If it is a bad guy part, then I would look at, you know, what I can add to it that's off the page, and, you know, and, and see if I could layer it up more, and then it makes it more fulfilling for me. For the actor starting out, you, you need to do what you need to do, you know, and then the only thing is you, how can you better that situation and deepen the characters. Ron has also worked on films in Hong Kong and more recently in Taiwan for the film Black and White Episode 2, The Dawn of Justice, a unique opportunity for someone accustomed to the challenges of being an Asian American working in American entertainment. Just from all the years and the struggle of the Asian American actor, from my perspective, I think there's always can be stuff with more layers. And, you know, also now with everything going towards China, maybe some kind of synergy between Asians and, you know, in Asia and Asian Americans. Born in New York and based in California, Ron has been interested in acting since childhood. Having grown up in an era where the only Asian face one could find on television was that of Bruce Lee, Ron was inspired to create and interpret an even wider array of roles for actors of Asian descent. About that. Hey. Instead of just wanting to do action, I grew up like loving Woody Allen films, so it was more about character acting, so about seeing an Asian face in this type of genre and this type of genre. Just growing up as a kid, I love acting. The process of finding the intricate layers of, of the story, of the character, you know, I think that'll never go away. In between shoots, Ron also works on directing shorts and is working toward the goal of directing his own feature. Motivated primarily by passion, Ron also acknowledges that being on the production side is key in creating the stories that will feature the wide range of talents of Asian American actors not always seen on the current mainstream screen, as well as stories unique to the Asian American community actors out there, there's no excuse why you should not be shooting stuff with friends because this wasn't allowed for us when we were like, you know, growing up in the 80s, 90s. It was like, unless you had money for film, you know, whether that be directing, writing, acting, producing content that has these great layered characters and whether it be action, you know, which I do a lot of, or just thrillers or just drama or comedy, just being part of the creative. Force. Currently in between gigs, upcoming releases Ron will feature in include The Accountant with Anna Kendrick and Ben Affleck, as well as a Mortal Kombat TV series in which Ron is playing a particularly iconic character.